Hi, everyone. Welcome to another session of BoatingTechTalk.com. We've got a question from a fellow boater named Brian. Brian asks, Jeff, with a two-battery setup, starter and house, in conjunction with an ACR, with an on-off combined switch, a lot of technical words, but so far, ACR, by the way, everyone means battery combiner. So, so far, the client has told us he's got two batteries, a house and a starter. And he's also using a battery combiner, which from Blue Seas is called an ACR, which means automatic combiner relay. And he also has a switch on it, right, which is handy, uh, which is on-off combined switch, which means you can force it to manually be on, always off, or you can force it to uh, actually work, right, auto. Can you still use a single shunt both? battery negatives on one side of the shunt and all negatives on the other side for use for a single battery monitor. And then he goes on, he says, or would it be preferable to use one for the starter and house batteries to have their separate shunts? All right, everyone, <laughs> let's geek out about battery monitors. So a great question for Brian. Uh, by the way, if you're confused about battery monitors or you're not confused about battery monitors, you should be because everyone is. And honestly, it's a lot harder than it looks. And it might be obvious to you, but I'm telling you, there's so many errors on this subject. It's actually, you gotta draw it out, you know, um, for your own boat. So the reality is that what is a shunt, right? When we're talking about battery monitors, um, we're actually talking about measuring uh, current through a device. And we do that by measuring the millivolt differential uh, between two points on that circuit. So we know that V equals IR, right? And so if we're measuring V and we know R, then we know I. And I is current, V is voltage, and R is resistance. So that's how battery monitors basically figure out what the amps are is by measuring the millivoltage differential between two posts on a metal bar, which is called a shunt. So this shunt gives us amps, and we measure that. But where are we going to put that shunt? Now, as Brian suggested, if you were actually going to connect both battery negatives together on one side of the shunt and have all loads connected to the other side, your battery monitor would effectively be looking at the battery bank capacity of your house and starter as one. So you really don't have two battery banks in this instance, you only have one, right? Because all loads are common to the shunt. And the only way to really have, and some boat owners, by the way, have two house batteries, so it does happen. The only way for us to individually give us the amp power capacity, the amp draw, or the charging going in each respective battery, as Brian leads in his question, needs a dedicated shunt. And that shunt needs to be a single choke point. Right. Think about counting cars on a bridge. Right. We've all seen that or many of us have. You know, I noticed I was a little curious kid and I was always wondering what they were doing. Bothering my parents with questions. And then understanding why are they there? Why are they not somewhere else? And then over time, you're a kid. Right. And you're like, oh, there's no exits or entry points after this point. It's a choke point. Right. So they count the cars here. They're not counting another access point. Right. Because otherwise you're going to miss cars. So, you know, the best place to count. Cars on a bridge would probably be in the middle. You know for a fact that nobody can bypass you, right? As opposed to an entry or one exit, right? Because some bridges have many entrance, many exits. And why the analogy of many entry entrances and exits? Because that's what our boats have, right? Batteries on boats have many connections that bring in charge and many connections that take a charge out, right? Like a bridge, many inputs, many outputs. And the only way for us to know exactly where all that current is going through and not missing any is to be right in the middle, a single choke point. And that choke point is connected to a shunt. And the shunt tells you everything that goes in and out of that battery. And that's why with a house and starter battery, if you want, if, and that's a big if, if you want to have amp power capacity and amp for each battery bank, then you need a battery monitor with its respective shunt for both battery banks. Great question, Brian. Thanks for asking. And by the way, thanks for all of you for listening in and be safe out there. If you're curious, we've written whole articles about this. Go on our website, search it out. Uh, and we've got a lot of other uh, tech talks about this very topic. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do. 
um, it actually, it really does make a difference. It encourages us to keep posting. So if you're watching this video and haven't had a chance to subscribe, we really do care because the more of you that are watching, the more of us over here are willing to put, spend more time in creating content. So thanks again.